was the people that are, are not here. Um, but it's, it's always great to get back. It, it, it really is family. Yeah. You know, the crew, everybody. You know, yeah, you see a lot like of that. familiar faces. Derek Trucks is an American guitarist, songwriter, and founder of the Derek Trucks Band. He became an official member of the Allman Brothers Band in 1999. In 2010, he formed the Tedeschi Trucks Band with his wife, blues singer-guitarist Susan Tedeschi. His musical style encompasses several genres, and he's twice appeared on Rolling Stone's list of 100 Greatest Guitarists of All Time. In 2007, Trucks appeared on the cover of Rolling Stone for an article called The New Guitar Gods. In 2010, the Derek Trucks Band won the Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Blues Album for the album Already Free. In 2012, Trucks and Tedeschi won the Grammy Award for Best Blues Album for the Tedeschi Trucks Band's debut album, Revelator. Good mixing going on. There's always some uh, amazing collaborations. Um, and then you get, you know, you get to sit in the dressing room with Buddy Guy and hear stories, and it's, uh, it's a good day. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Derek Trucks, but he's also known as Derek. He was born June 8, 1979 in Jacksonville, Florida, making him 42 at the time of this production. He stands 1.83 meters or six feet tall. Trucks is an avid fan of the Atlanta Braves, the Florida State Seminoles, and his hometown Jacksonville Jaguars. Trucks credits guitarist Dwayne Allman and bluesman Elmore James as the two slide guitarists who influenced his early style. Trucks is a fan of Hindustani classical musician Ali Akbar Khan, known for his virtuosity in playing the Sarad and popularizing Indian classical music in the West often in conjunction with sitar virtuoso Ravi Shankar. Truck studied at the Ali Akbar College of Music in San Rafael, California. The color of his eyes is blue and his hair is blonde. He weighs about 154 pounds or 70 kilograms. His music is rooted in blues and rock, embracing jam band, southern rock, and jazz. Trucks plays an eclectic blend of blues, soul, jazz, rock, kawal music, a genre of music from Pakistan and Western India, Latin music, and other kinds of world music. Trucks is a creative guitarist, according to his uncle, Allman Brothers drummer Butch Trucks. He never does the same thing twice. Trucks plays the guitar in an opening E tuning using a Dunlop Blues bottle slide. In 2006, two vintages, 1965 and 1968 Fender Super Reverb amplifiers, a Hammond B3 organ, Two Leslie speaker cabinets and a Honer E7 clavinet were stolen from trucks and later recovered by the Atlanta Police Department. The Washington Post in 2009 described truck's guitar style as notes and chords that soar, slice, and glide, sounding like a cross between Dwayne Allman on a 61 Gibson Les Paul and John Coltrane on a tenor sax. A 2006 article in the Wall Street Journal described him as the most awe-inspiring electric slide guitar player performing today. On February 21, 2012, Derek Trucks and his wife joined other blues musicians for a performance at the White House for President Obama and his guests. In an interview, he was asked how he's managed to stay grounded while touring almost incessantly, much of the time with a band, the Allman Brothers, infamous for its struggles, for its highly flammable interpersonal relationships, and to be blunt, for its drug problems. His answer was simple and direct. For me, it's always about the music. By focusing on that and surrounding myself with good people, I've been able to avoid the distractions. He's the nephew of the late Butch Trucks, drummer for the Allman Brothers. Trucks' late uncle, Butch, was a founding member and drummer of the Allman Brothers Band. His younger brother is Dwayne Trucks, who's a member of widespread panic and hardworking Americans. His great uncle, Virgil Trucks, was a Major League Baseball pitcher in the 1940s and 50s, winning 177 games in his career. Derek's an ideal family guy when it comes to his love life. In 2001, he married singer and musician Susan Tedeschi. They had a son in March 2002 and a daughter in 2004. I always come back to it. I've, I've tried other guitars and I always miss it. So there's, when you make that connection, 
and it becomes second nature, then that's, that's kind of where I stop. According to Trucks, the name of Eric Clapton's band, Derek and the Dominoes, had something to do with the name Derek, if not the spelling. Trucks bought his first guitar at a yard sale for $5 at age 9 and became a child prodigy, playing his first paid performance at age 11. Trucks began playing the guitar using a slide because it allowed him to play guitar despite his small hands as a young guitarist. By his 13th birthday, Trucks had played alongside Buddy Guy and toured with Thunderhawk. Trucks formed the Derek Trucks Band in 1994, and by his 20th birthday, he'd played with such artists as Bob Dylan, Joe Walsh, and Stephen Sills. In 1999, he toured as a member of Phil Lesh and Friends. After performing with the Allman Brothers Band for several years as a guest musician, Trucks became a formal member of the band in 1999 and appeared on the albums Peekin' at the Beacon, Live at the Beacon Theater, Hitting the Note, and One Way Out. In 2006, Trucks began a studio collaboration with J.J. Kale and Eric Clapton called The Road to Escondido and performed with three bands in 17 different countries that year. Trucks was invited to perform at the 2007 Crossroads Guitar Festival, and after the festival, he toured as part of Clapton's band, The Derek Trucks Band, formed in 1994, and released the albums The Derek Trucks Band in 1997, Out of the Madness in 1998, Joyful Noise in 2002, Soul Serenade in 2003, Live at Georgia Theater in 2004, Song Lines in 2006, Already Free in 2009, and Road Songs in 2010. The Derek Trucks Band album Already Free debuted at number 19 on the Billboard Top 200 chart, number one on the internet chart, number four on the rock chart, and number one on the blues chart. Trucks built a studio in his home in January 2008, and his band and he recorded the album Already Free. Trucks and his wife combined their bands to form the Soul Stew Revival in 2007 and performed at the Bonnaroo Music Festival in June 2008. Tedeschi Trucks Band was formed in 2010 and released their debut studio album Revelator in 2011. Their album Made Up Mind was released in 2013 and reached number 11 on the Billboard 200 chart, and they released the albums Let Me Get By in 2016 and Signs in 2019 that speaks to you it, uh, it's, you just you know where the sweet spots are and you know how to coax things out of it and every piece of wood is different and uh, it's, it's nice when you find one that feels good his history as a guitarist and his involvement with a variety of rock bands have all helped him in this endeavor he's primarily earned money through singing live concerts and tours he also earns money through commercials and brand endorsement deals some of his most successful albums include made up mind and let me get by. He has a net worth of $6 million. Derek and his wife live in a house in Jacksonville, Florida. The house is surrounded by trees and features four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and a half bathroom. There's also a swimming pool, a spacious kitchen, a dining area, a studio, and two fireplaces in the house. He likely owns the following cars, a Ford Mustang, an Audi, a Chevrolet Camaro.